Hi, my name is Forsa, and this is the Toronto Profiles Project. I'm a burlesque artist. Uh, I'm also a theater artist, and that's an important part of my identity. Um, and I'm a burlesque scholar, which is a huge part of like sort of my everyday. I certainly wanted to be a performer. And a lot of the reasons I wanted to be were, was because I was interested in this idea of like a, being a particular kind of feminine spectacle. From Disney films to like Moulin Rouge or Gilda or like these kinds of images, or even things that maybe weren't expressly that, but had that connotation. I was a big fan of like comic books and I really loved like Catwoman, for example. Catwoman isn't an evil figure, but it's like a really kind of uh, interesting um, sort of anti-hero. And she does a lot of advocacy for other, for specifically other women, especially women who do sexualized labor, like sex workers. And in general, it's just kind of all about being stuck in a system that doesn't really care about you as a, as a woman. Um, and as a woman who's coded certain ways and uh, being able and realizing that you have to take advantage of that system when and if you can and create space for yourself even if it doesn't want you to be there. And I think I've always seen the stage as a space where people can really kind of like unleash themselves safely and also be fun and campy and stupid and parodic and that was something that I thought was so important about it that I maybe wasn't getting in some of the more sort of serious avant-garde theater work that I was doing, uh, let's say like while I was in university. A cool thing about the Toronto burlesque scene uh, that I can cite is that it was one of actually like the earliest cities that helped found this neo-burlesque movement. And so it's a really great place to develop really interesting ideas and influences. And so seeing uh, theater or dance or opera or, or going to a gallery can really help give you new ideas. Literature for me gives me a lot of ideas. Like I think certainly without you know, training in and exposure to Toronto theater, I wouldn't be the kind of performer I am now in burlesque, like for certain. Thank you.